Hello, welcome back. The train has arrived, finally. The big day, blue train, John Coltrane. Wow, long waiting is over. And what, what an addition, or additions in a way. What I will now do in this video is compare the mono versus the tone poet mono versus the music matters jazz SRX mono and the stereo, the tone poet stereo release I will compare against the analog production 45 rpm and then I will go into the question because a lot of you when I did this uh, 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 live stream where I did the unboxing of this release a lot of you ask uh, what I recommend the mono or the stereo release of this tone poet and yeah I can promise you there are quite some surprises uh, there are some some outcomings I haven't expected in a way but okay we we start we start with the mono release here we have the jacket with and I only show these these session photos one time because in all three releases that have those session photos they are the same of course they are a gorgeous add-on but they are in every release they are the same yeah this album 65 years ago almost by the day today and we have here an all-time cast. We have Lee Morgan on the trumpet. We have Curtis Fuller on the trombone, John Coltrane on tenor sax, Kenny Drew on the piano, Paul Chambers on bass, Philly Joe Jones on drums. Okay, not much more to say about, about that. Gorgeous. Uh, it's one of the all-time favorites for from for many many jazz collectors and although you have to be careful when you say this belongs into every record collection of course it doesn't belong into every record collection it depends on on your <laughs> musical taste but if you are into jazz it has a high chance that you <laughs> need these records um we get the on 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 both releases of course we get the usual tone poet treatment with the stouten, glossy, beautiful, sturdy jackets. We have Kevin Gray on all four releases, by the way. Every release we talk about today is mastered by Kevin Gray. We got those tone poets pressed in the United States over at uh, RTI. And yeah, the full beautiful package. What I have here now is the Music Matters Jazz 33 and a third SRX version of the of the mono cut. Again with the session photos. And on this, I can show it because probably some. Uh, can you see that it's semi-transparent? I hope so. On this super vinyl SRX vinyl which has an incredible, incredible low noise floor. And by the way, let's talk a bit about the jacket. You see, the, those are quite different. Although this is of course in a, in, a, in a protection sleeve, but I can see you have way more contrast here. I think, look at the saxophone how sharp this mount mouthpiece is it's not as sharp on the on the tone poet releases so uh, 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 um, cover art wise uh, jacket wise the the tone uh, the the music matters is ahead of all the other releases i showed today in my opinion this is the best photo of, of, of this of the, uh, that they can use for the, the record. But okay, this is of course a minor thing, but in my opinion quite, quite worth mentioning that they really t did a different take on that. 
And another very important thing that comes to mind now before I go into the comparison of, of the two monos. It's not granted that we have these releases, the Blue Train, John Coltrane, as a tone poet, because there is this rule. Records that have been done by Music Matters Jazz shouldn't be a tone poet. So, luckily, we really have the exception of the rule with, with this mono and with the stereo release, because a lot of us, of course, love the way they are doing the tone poets. Okay, but now, mono, tone poet versus Music Matters Jazz. When it comes to the mono releases, I think, in my opinion, the Music Matters Jazz is the overall still sounding best version. But on an astonishing, astonishingly uh, 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 low uh, 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 variance, it's 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 not much, you know, these. These, these, uh, 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 this vinyl, of course, helps to construct even more detail due to this low noise floor, but not in an extremely high rate. You have this higher, let's call it blackness, especially in, in, in the silent parts, but that's it. And I think if you consider uh, that the prices for those XRX are quite mention <laughs> worth mentioning, you get a fantastic uh, 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 you get a uh, 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 opportunity here. You get a fantastic opportunity to get into this record in a truly beautiful audiophile form. You have a great separation. Of course, you, this is mono, and the sound stage is of course smaller but you have this punch this directness and 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 everything is where it should be the 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 overall details are astonishing the punch is astonishing so the very 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 good news is you get a great sounding record and that's what is what what we hoped to get and that is what we get. So this is really good news. We re they really did a great job. Kevin Gray, RTI, well done. Although in my opinion the SRX version stays a bit on top, a bit as expected. Of course when you have this advantage with the vinyl you have the same mastering engineer. So that's, that's about the mono. The stereo release the stereo release comes with a beautiful, beautiful add-on. We get a second disc that has really interesting insights, that give us really interesting insights um, of the development of the Titus. Beautiful add-on. We have alternate takes. And this is, of course, very, very interesting if you want to dig into this. And as Joe Harley stated and Kevin Gray stated in the interview, they are also all analog, which is also nothing you can take for granted and of course is a great, great thing. All the releases, by the way, comes in this sleeves. Totally okay. I changed them against archival sleeves. Let's have a look. Oh no, this is something. No, that's, that's it. That's fine. Here you can see the vinyl. Flawless. Beautiful. Every, everything in a great way. Okay, the stereo release also comes next to the alternate, uh, alternative takes. It comes with a, with a little booklet with beautiful photos. Let's have a look at them. that of course a nice add-on and yes I compared it to the analog production 
They did a couple of years ago again with Kevin Gray as the mastering engineer pressed over at, at quality records pressing on 45 rpm and of course again this is an advantage that this release has and as I've said several times if everything is done right and good it's very very hard almost impossible to beat the 45 rpm but okay come on let's let's talk about the comparison here is again the jacket of the stereo release you know they put up a sticker and they did it for a great reason for a good reason Joe Harley also explained that in the interview because that's the way they did it with the original and so it's of course intelligent and correct to do it the same way on the audio file tone poet remaster yeah the stereo version from tone poet and that was the biggest surprise. This stereo release is killer. Killer, in my opinion, a huge surprise. It sounds killer. Really, really, really good. Really good. And you don't have this ping pong stereo here. You don't, just don't have it, which is a good thing. You have a beautiful, astonishing, for this time, astonishingly beautiful sound stage great separation the room really opens this release this tone point breathe F fantastic it's so nuanced you have all those details and again I, that was really 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 a big surprise really i come then i put on the tone pole uh, excuse me the analog production 45 rpm and i haven't heard that for quite some time yeah okay this is really killer too so it has it has a little little minor really minor advantages negle neglectable they really did in my opinion a fantastic job on this stereo wow 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 and so we have we have a I, I don't want to do photo finish, you know, like they did when it comes to sport and or cycling when you have the, no, let's not do it. So we have a tie here. Let's call it a tie. Really, really great job. Really. Yeah, and then for the, the question that occurred on, on so many comments, I did another listening because I want to have it fresh in my in my ears, in my head. And I compared the two tone poles. I compared the mono versus the stereo of course not which sounds better but which is the version i would recommend for those who say hey come on great that it's out there but one, one version one version is enough one version is enough and of course like always in my head i had a little favorite and the favorite was before i i, I listened to all this was the mono I, I was say ah the mono probably is is, is the way to hear that album <coughs> excuse me but the stereo is in my opinion so good that I would recommend the stereo and also of course you also get the extras the outtakes, uh, yeah, the, the alternative, ta alternative takes, which is a great thing in my opinion. You get this little booklet, which also adds to 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 uh, my personal decision, to my opinion, that if you have to choose between those two, in this case, I would recommend the mono. Uh, excuse me, I would recommend the stereo. I was in my. <laughs> The stereo is a fantastic release overall. And if you have to decide between those two, I would recommend the stereo once more. And by the way, if I remember correctly, in the interview with, with, with uh, Joe Harley and Kevin Gray, Joe Harley said, I prefer the stereo and, and Kevin Gray preferred the mono. So here we are again. Here we are again. Of course, you will probably see several videos about this topic 
and one says so, one says so. That's, that's the nature of it and that's of course the beauty of it. But again, overall, happy that they are out there, happy that we have this fantastic music, music on not a cheap edition, of course not, but on a great edition. So that's about the train. Thank you for your time and see you on the next one. Bye.